video number seven is our learn how to hold bow video. So we're going to be working on that. Um, I'm going to actually place my bow down on the ground because you're going to have to learn how to pick it up, where to place it, so that you can actually place a proper bow hand. Now you have to remember a couple of things as well. Your left hand is your violin hand. Your right hand is your bow hand. So you have violin hand, bow hand, violin hand, bow hand. Okay, bow hand, violin hand. <laughs> so you have to remember your left hand is your violin hand, your right hand is your bow hand. So I've got my bow down on the ground. What I'm going to do, let me angle this maybe a little bit better so that you can get a better view. You're going to pick the bow up at the stick. Okay? And you're going to pick it up with your left hand. Set it down again. Show you both angles. So my left hand, I'm going to pick up the bow in the middle on the stick. And I'm going to then take the bow hair. Okay, it should be facing towards my left shoulder. And I'm going to put it down on my left shoulder, my left hand. Did you see that? Let me do it again. On the ground, left hand, take the stick in the middle, bring the hair down my left shoulder. Don't worry if you get some rosin on there, it comes off in the wash. Okay. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my right hand because remember what I said, right hand's my bow hand. Okay. So I'm going to go flop, flop, flop. And here's how I'm going to do that. All right, I'm going to lift up my right hand and move my watch a little there so you can see my wrist. And I'm going to go flop, flop, plop. Now when I plop, my fingers plopped down on this piece. And do you remember this is called the frog? Okay, so I'm going to do it again. Here we go. Flop, flop, plop. Now. My fingers should be like wet spaghetti noodles right now. They're nice and relaxed. And I'm going to show you where and how to place each finger. So underneath, I'm going to put my thumb on this silver piece right here. Okay, right on the silver piece there. And I'm going to make what I like to call a banana thumb. All right, make it nice and round almost kind of like a letter C too, all right? Backwards, no. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take my pinky and I'm gonna put it on top of the stick and I'm gonna make it round. Now, here's the trick though. It likes to slip off, all right? So I want you to keep your bow on your shoulder while you place your fingers. This is important because it takes the weight off your hand, all right? So flop, flop, flop. And I make my round thumb underneath on the silver piece, make my pinky round above the eye on the frog. Do you see that? It's not back here. Don't place your hand back here. It's way too heavy. You're going to make sure you always flop, 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 pinky above the eye on the frog. And for some of us that are really little, we it can bring it up even a little bit more if we need to. Okay? So round pinky, round thumb. These two fingers, they just plopped, all right? Now, if you look, you'll see that my middle finger, which is this one here, and my thumb, they're across from each other. So that's kind of a good, good way to line up your fingers, okay? And this one is here, all right, just like this. And this guy right here is kind of leaning over, taking a nap a little bit. So my wrist, is actually kind of, instead of it being straight up and down, 
I'm going to turn my wrist in kind of towards my nose. Okay, do you see that? This way. All right, nice and relaxed. Now, look what I've made. I've made a tunnel right here. I've made a tunnel. So if your bow hand looks like this and there's no tunnel, and that means you need to fix it. So then hold that stick, make sure you hold it, and do it again. Flop, flop, flop. Round pinky, round thumb. You're going to hear that a lot. Make sure you're above the arm frog. Relaxed fingers. Turn your wrist in. And I want you to check what I call your square. All right? You should be in the middle. Okay? Nice and level. Just like this is called my square. Right. Just like that. So I want you to work on your bow hand. Now, I'm going to combine a few things right now in this video as well. Um, I'm going to have you do the bow exercises. I'm just going to go ahead and go right into those. All right. So the first one, once you have this nice bow hand, you're going to practice keeping your fingers relaxed, keeping them where they're supposed to be, round pinky, round thumb, this is my nice round tunnel. And then I'm gonna have you take your bow, bring it out in front of you, just like this, and relax, okay? And we're gonna do a little song, and it's called Up Like a Rock. It goes like this. Up like a rock, get down like the rain. Back and forth like a choo choo train. Round and round like the great big sun. Look at Miss James' bow. Round pinky, round thumb. All right, you can add your name in there. We're in class, we like to add our friends' names in there as well. Let's do it again. Here we go. And then we check our bow hand at the end for round pinky, round thumb. You can kind of look down, make sure you have a tunnel. All right, here we go. Now, next thing I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you place your imaginary plate of chocolate chip cookies or whatever your favorite cookie is on the tip of your bow so that the tip of your bow stays pointed up towards the sky. So the tip is up and you're balancing your plate of cookies. Don't let them fall so you can eat them at the end. Are you ready? Keep that tip up. One, two, let's chant. And up like a rock, get down like the rain. Back and forth like a choo-choo train. Round and round like the great big sun. Look at my bow, round pinky, round thumb. Good job, check your bow, round pinky, round thumb. Is your tip up towards the sky? All right, you may eat chocolate chip cookie. All right, delicious. All right, let's do it one more time, here we go. Up like a rocket, down like the rain. Back and forth like a choo-choo train. Round and round like the great big sun. Look at my bow, round pinky, round thumb. All right, good job. You can eat all the cookies. Take them off. Good. All right, now back onto your left shoulder, holding with your left hand, middle of the stick. And the next thing we're going to do is called stirring soup. Now, Anyone at home that does this with you, by the way, if they don't have a bow, they can grab a wooden spoon, they can grab a pencil. So for example, let me see, let me see what I have if I didn't have my bow here. Oh, I've got a pen, here we go. They can do it with you and they can do the exercises and work on that bow hold with you and participate along with you, okay? Wonderful. Now, we're gonna flop, flop, flop again. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Flop, flop, flop. Round pinky, round thumb. Double check your suit. Check your square. Once you're set, then we're gonna bring it up in front of you again. All right. Now, 
what you're going to do is pretend there is a humongous kettle of soup in front of you. And you're going to have to stir the soup. Stirring the soup. Oh, let's freeze for a minute. Let's put those cookies back up on the tip of our bow. And keep that tip up towards the sky. Stirring your soup. Oh, it's a big kettle, so you're going to have to stir wide, stir out, stir in front of you there. All right, now. What you're gonna do is you're gonna add things to your soup. You can have your family members add things with you. So, for example, I'm gonna add some broccoli to my soup. So we're gonna stir in the broccoli and then we're gonna freeze. Look down, check your round pinky and round thumb. Now, if you aren't happy with your round pinky and round thumb, let's say your pinky, oh, my pinky just fell off. I'm going to put it back on my shoulder and do it again. Flop, 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 round pinky, round thumb, bring it back up. Always fix it, all right? Always watching, make the corrections as you go, because that's what's going to make you a fabulous player. Stirring my soup, stirring my soup, and I'm going to have you add some... <gasps> Add some Brussels sprouts. Oh, you know you love Brussels sprouts. Stir them in and freeze. Check your round pinky and your round thumb. Keep stirring. All right, this time, let's see. I'm going to have you add something. So I want you to say it out loud. Whatever you want to add, say it now. Okay. Sounds good. Let's keep stirring and freeze. Look down at your round pinky and round thumb. Stir a little bit more. All right, awesome. There we go. And let's add one more thing. I know your hand's getting a little tired, but that's okay because we're going to build those muscles as well. Um, let's add some <gasps> cockroaches. All right, stir them in. Yuck, disgusting. Stir them in. Freeze. Right, you can add some silly things too. All right, so have a fun time with the um, stirring of the soup as well. Um, the next one I want to go over, okay, by the way, let's take a break. Put it here, shake it out. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. All right, uh, windshield wipers, here we go. Flop, 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 check it. Round pinky, round thumb. Okay, now this time, oh, we didn't eat the cookies. I forgot last time. Okay, each cookies, this one, you don't need cookies on the tip of your bow, okay? Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your wrist here. Mm -hmm. Rotating your wrist, right? No chicken wings, no chicken wings, okay? Rotate so that now the stick is level with the ground. Then you're gonna come back this way. You see, I'm turning like a two. Now the hair is level with the ground. It's just kind of rotating back and forth. Now, when you are at this angle here and the hair is level to the ground, you, boy, you're going to feel that in your pinky finger. All right. Nice, strong pinky when this is all said and done. All right. This way. And this way. It's starting to rain a little harder. Gotta balance that pinky up there. Oh, boy. Starting to thunderstorm. All right. The rain's slowing down. All the while, you're going to keep that round pinky and round thumb. This one, you know, feel it in your fingers as you do your windshield wipers. As you do the windshield wipers, too, anyone in your house can help you by kind of making the storm story. Okay, so that you can work on the drizzling rain. And then maybe it'll rain harder 
and you go faster. And then maybe you'll slow down. Okay, so enjoy doing your windshield wipers. I know that, right? I know that's... There you go, shake it out. Hurting your pinky a little. Place it here. Okay, there's one more. Um, this is for like when you're really good, like in the second grade good, uh, or you've worked so hard, you know, your twinkles, you're a pro at rest position and playing position. This one's called the spider crawl, all right? This one's tough. So what you're gonna do is you're actually going to bring your thumb. I call this the Audi thumb, by the way. You're gonna bring your thumb in just like this, okay? And you're gonna crawl up the stick of your bow like a spider. Now, don't drop your bow, all right? And you're gonna go slow. You're gonna crawl, you're gonna crawl up. Don't let it slide, because that's cheating. So you're gonna crawl with your fingers, crawl up the stick, keep going, and keep your thumb. I want you to keep your thumb like this, like your banana thumb, okay? Crawling up the stick now. When you get to the top of the stick, guess where you gotta go? Back down, and guess what? There's something called gravity, so this is a little trickier. You're gonna have to maneuver your thumb, add your fingers, slowly. You're gonna feel those muscles working. There you go. Thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers. Get all the way down to the bottom. And boy, I tell you what, this one's actually, when you get good, it's quite a bit of fun. And then you can put your thumb back here, all right? What we like to do is we race. We do spider crawl races. So we crawl up to the top, and we crawl back down, place our thumb and back on our shoulder, okay? So we kind of have a good, good time with that one as well. So those are all of your bow exercises and how to hold your bow, work hard, and you will be successful. All right. Thanks. Bye.